Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Emily and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two really simple geometric inspired ideas. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about these DIYs and if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more DIYs. Let's get on with the video. The first DIY I'm gonna show you how to make is this really simple geometric tin can pencil holder. You want to take a tin can and place it onto the edge of a piece of paper and you want to mark where the tin can ends. You also want to make another mark on the other end of the piece of paper. Now you can take a ruler and you want to make a straight line by connecting the two marks you made with a pencil. Then you want to cut on the line with scissors. When you're done cutting, you want to make sure the paper fits all the way around the tin can. Now you want to lay out the piece of paper and you want to put the tin can in the middle of the piece of paper. Then you can put a line of glue onto the tin can and then you want to put one end of the piece of paper into the glue. You want to do the same thing to the other end of the piece of paper but you want to put the line of glue onto the paper and make sure you pull the paper tight before putting it into the glue. Now you can take some washi tape or any tape that is a different color than the paper and you want to cut the tape into strips. If you have thinner tape than what I used, you don't have to cut the tape into strips. After you cut a strip of tape, you can put it onto the paper that's on the tin can in any direction that you want. You can put as many pieces of tape onto the can that you want and you can make any design and shapes with the tape like trapezoids or triangles. And if you need to, you want to cut off any of the tape that hangs off of the can with scissors. When you get your pencil holder done, you can put anything that you want into the can, like pencils or markers. The last DIY I'm gonna show you how to make is this geometric animal frame art idea. The first thing you want to do is that you want to trace the back of your frame onto a piece of paper. Then you want to cut on the line with scissors. And then you want to put the piece of paper into the frame. What you want to do now is that you want to draw out your geometric animal onto the piece of paper with a pencil. And you can use a ruler to make straight lines. I made a fox, but you can make any animal that you want and you can search for inspiration on Google or Pinterest. When you're done drawing your animal, you want to take the piece of paper out of the frame. Then you want to stick another piece of paper under the piece of paper with the animal on it so you don't ruin the surface you're going to draw on. All you have to do now is that you want to take a permanent marker or any type of marker you have and you want to go over the pencil lines with a marker. Once you're done making your animal, you want to erase any pencil markings off of the paper. Then you want to put the piece of paper back into the frame. If you want, you can keep it like this, or you can glue jewels onto the paper. I glued a jewel where the fox's nose is, but you can glue on jewels for the eyes, a nose, or even a bow. And that's how you make these geometric inspired DIYs. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about these DIYs. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more DIYs. I will see you in the next video. Bye.